Hey brothers and sisters, today is August 9th, 2023. Just need to share some things with you guys. This is a video from about two years ago. So here we go. Hey brothers and sisters, today is March 25th, 2021. Just wanted to basically reshare some dreams that I've had in the past with you that I believe are pointing to now. Here's the first one. Hello, brothers and sisters. Today is April 15th, 2020. And I had a dream last night that I just wanted to put out there right now because in the dream I was telling someone that it's pointing to right now. I'm not sure of the interpretation, but again, just wanted to put it out right now. So in the dream, I saw Netanyahu. And he he was with two snakes and I was telling sister Lashara Pinkney who has a channel that seeing Netanyahu with these two snakes was pointing to right now and then I saw two snakes in the water and they were about to they were about to like come up out of the water and attack And then I saw a big thistle in the water. And I tried taking it out by the roots with a fork. So I just wanted to put this out, out there. Um, to the two snakes that I saw in the water, I don't know if maybe they could represent two ships in, a, in the water or something. I'm not sure. Um, so anyway... Just, just wanted to put that out there. I love you guys. And a subscriber, Charlie Horse, put this scripture in the comment section. Ezekiel 28, 24. And there shall be no more a prickling briar to the house of Israel, nor any grieving thorn of all that are round about them, that despise them. And they shall know that I am the Lord God. Pricking is an action you perform with a fork. A briar is a prickly stemmed plant, I think, such as a thistle. So here's the next one. Dream about Jerusalem. and sisters, today is September 20th, 2020. I just wanted to share a dream that I had with you guys last night, really late. So in the dream, I saw a very big snake that was coiled around Israel. And then I heard, you know, it's all about the oil, right? And then I saw a big section of the snake that was cut off from its body. And all that was left was the part of the snake in Jerusalem. And I believe that the part of the snake represents the countries that were all about the oil. And that they're going to be cut off from Jerusalem. And I believe that the part that remained in Jerusalem was the Antichrist who isn't there for the oil but to declare himself as God. Pray for Jerusalem, brothers and sisters. Hello everybody, today is December 9th, 2018, and I just wanted to share some things with you guys. So last night I had a vision of seeing the Saudi crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman. Then I saw that Egyptian goddess Isis, and she had huge wings. So 
I wasn't sure what it meant, but I remembered a vision I had a while back where I was in a desert behind a big rock and I was watching from a distance a UFO hovering low above the ground. And then I saw a big beam of light come out from the bottom center of the UFO. And in this light, I saw a being form out of it. And it had really big wings, just like um, that Egyptian goddess Isis did. Then the wings disappeared and it became fully human looking. And I sense in my spirit that the visions of this winged creature and Isis also turning into a human form was about the coming great deception. So. Saudi Arabia to U.S. and Israel. We want significant steps on normalization. Saudi Arabia conveyed to the U.S. and Israel that it is interested in significant steps that would benefit all parties. This is the Saudi Crown Prince, Ben Salman, the one I saw in the vision. Saudi Arabia conveyed to the U.S. and Israel that it is not interested in small steps on normalization, but rather in significant steps for all parties, and especially in the U.S. commitments to the Saudis. At the same time, the report said Israel is disturbed by recent criticism from the American administration about what is happening in Israel and believes that this affects how Israel is perceived in the Arab world. Earlier this week, Rochette Bet Radio reported that in order to achieve a breakthrough in normalization with Saudi Arabia, Israel will have to take real steps for the benefit of the Palestinian Authority. This approach by Israel towards the P Palestinians will have to be done not only because of Saudi Arabia's demands, but also because of the need to soften the opposition in the Democratic Party to the Saudi American arms deal and a defense alliance. Netanyahu wants security agreement from Biden as part of mega Saudi deal. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the one with the two snakes, wants to get a security agreement with the U.S. focused on deterring Iran in the context of the mega deal. The Biden administration is trying to reach with Saudi Arabia and Israel, four Israeli and U.S. officials told Axios. A formal agreement, which would likely have to be approved by Congress, would give stronger U.S. security guarantees to Israel at a time when Iran continues to advance its nuclear program. The Iranians could build a nuclear device within five months if they decided to do so. Netanyahu brought up the idea for a U.S.-Israeli security agreement in passing during the last phone call with Biden in July. Netanyahu told Biden he wants to send his confidant and strategic affairs minister, Ron Dermer, to Washington to present a proposal in detail, the official said. Dermer is the driving force behind the idea, and he started pushing it shortly after Netanyahu assumed office seven months ago. The exact parameters of Netanyahu's proposed agreement are not known, but Israeli officials say it is meant to focus on U.S. security guarantees around a possible military nuclear threat from Iran. Normalization and the details of any agreement reached have to be decided by two sovereign states, two snakes. And then there were two snakes in the water that I knew were about to come onto the land in Israel. Netanyahu sees a U.S.-Israeli security agreement as something that could be signed in the context of the broader deal the U.S. is trying to reach with Saudi Arabia. That would also include a Saudi-Israel normalization agreement. 
As part of the talks around the deal, the Biden administration and Saudi officials are discussing a possible security agreement that would give U.S. Sec security guarantees to the kingdom. The Saudis wanted an agreement that would include a NATO-style Article 5 commitment in which the U.S. would treat any attack against Saudi Arabia like an attack against the U.S. The Biden administration didn't accept this request, but did agree to discuss what some U.S. officials are calling an Article 45 commitment. Or Article 4.5 4 commitment. A security guarantee that would fall short of the Saudi expectations, but would still be significant. Netanyahu and Dermer want something similar and think that in a broader context of a U.S.-Saudi-Israel deal, such a security agreement will be easier to get. This is a dream I had back in January of 2020. I saw weird lights in the sky. It was like nighttime, but it was like really, really far up in the sky, like in the second heaven. And I knew that they were the fallen angels. There was a whole bunch of them. And then I saw a portal open. And I knew that Jesus was coming through it for us. The Bible is real, you guys, and this stuff is all playing out. And Jesus says, when you begin to see all these things start to come to pass, lift up your heads, for your redemption draws nigh. Believe in Jesus today, it's your Savior. He loves you with an everlasting love. He died in your place for the remission of all of your sins. You are justified before God because of the blood of Jesus. All you have to do is believe. Just believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ on the cross. Please. Keep looking up, you guys. Not too long. Look up and hold fast.